Hello everyone, this is Anita White with Love Your Art and we're back today with another video. Happy to have you joining us. As you can see, we have a canvas ready to go. It's a 10 by 20 inch. We have a cup that we prepped it, uh, propped it up on and we're using that to help us with our flow. We also have uh, a split cup with three colors. We have the Blick Acrylic Mars Black and the Titanium White by Blick Acrylic. And in the middle, we have the Parole Red by Liquitex Basics. And I'm going to be using also um, some black and white by Blick Acrylic in a cup. I'm going to layer that. I've already started with the white, so I'm just going to add some black to it. We're just going to do a layer of black, a layer of white, in addition to what we have here. So, we're going to get started with the, I think I'm going to start with the, um, let's see, let's see it's up under there. I'm going to start with the layer of black and white. We're just going to run this down. Allow it to come down. There's the color coming through. And if you're not aware, our colors are, paints are mixed with two parts, blow trawl, one part paint, water added to get to the desired consistency. And let that flow on out to the bottom. Shut down to the bottom here. We're just going to torch. Let that go right on over the edge, not a problem. And then we're going to take and jiggle the three colors out. I should say I'm actually taking them by lines, just back and forth. I'm doing about half of this, meaning halfway through, and we'll stop. That's about halfway through in our cup. We're going to take this and push it back. Move our cup out of the way here. I'm going to try to go over here and on, over on this side, my side. All the way over. We're going to go down to the lower right side. That's over. Bring it back to the middle. Bring it on down. Bring this also down so that the white and black are coming to the lower right side. Covering that up. Almost there. Giving that a unique design, if you can see. Giving it nice, beautiful striations. Try to grab that from underneath there. Getting all that paint off the edge. It's pretty neat. Look at that. All right. Now we have some paint left and uh, we could use that to 
add more to it, but I'm kind of liking what I see. It's got a balance of black and white, then a mixture of red, black, and white with the striations through it, and it looks kind of neat. I think I may try to reverse colors to take this off. And what I mean by that is I'm going to take and put more black and white in the cup. Just black, one, one layer of black, one layer of white, one layer of black. And we'll put, push this down. Let's see what happens with this. That little jiggle, give it a little extra effect, and let it go down the middle. Super pretty. Wow. Let's bring that on down, let it go on off. All the way down. The more it comes off, the more of effect it has. We're tilting it and we'll stop there. Unique. Very unique. I like playing around with different things and seeing what happens. I do like this effect. I'm wondering what it would look like if we put um, the black and white in the middle. Um, the black, white, and red in the middle. Let's see if we can do that. Let it go straight on down. How about we jiggle a little bit? Jiggle, 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 jiggle. That is beautiful. Taking that in a circular motion. Stop there and let this come to rest. Got lots of paint here, so we're going to move this over. See if we can affect this design more. Awesome. Let that come right on off the edge there. Come back to the middle. If we can get this lower left to uh, be affected by that. All right. And then how about we go back to the middle? And we'll try going for the upper right. Don't want to lose all of that, so we're going to kind of push it to the corner 
gently there and over. Bring you back to the middle. I think I have a name for this already. Uh, so I want to keep that part, so I'm going to see if I can push it, push it down a little bit more, get the paint to stretch just a little bit. Giving off a unique design here. See if we can push this over a little bit more because we have a lot more paint left. And that's pretty. That is pretty. We'll move it back to the middle. You can see that. It's beautiful. Okay, we have a cup we can move aside. I think this is going to be black and white and red all over. How's that for a name? It's beautiful. I'm not going to torch this, but I will take the pan of brown stick around underneath to capture this paint and bring it to rest. All the excess paint underneath is run over. Here. Pull that out toward me, pull it towards you, not straight across. That helps to keep it from smearing on the bottom. All right, or maybe smearing up the sides. So I'm going to angle this just a little bit because I can see if I can get it a little more uh, straight centered or other. Bring this one back down. More centered. May not be able to get it just perfect, but Hopefully we can get a little bit more to the center. All right, that is it right there. Fun, fun, fun. Let's see. I love, love, love the striations here. I'm almost just ready to play and continue to play. Let's see, because it is so much fun to do these. Um, and there's nothing wrong with this. I love what I've done with it. I just wonder if we could do a little bit more with the, let's see if I can get some black and white. on the side. Just gonna do a little more play. You're probably going, why? Leave it that, leave it like that. It's beautiful. It is, it's just fun to play. Sometimes you end up with something you love and and you sometimes you end up with thinking I should have left it alone. I want to just see if I can do something here, a little more effect to go through that metal. I like to try these out on smaller pieces before I attempt to do a red, uh, a larger piece. 
I'm seeing some of the red that was left in here come out, which is actually crazy beautiful in terms of what it's doing with this design. Hey, wow, that is so neat. Come back to the middle. Let's see if it can come back over here, all the way over. Off that edge like that, and then back to the metal. That's even neater. I mean, that's a cool design. Let's see if it can push some of this back this direction because I like the red and black on top. Really lining up with the divider there. Boy, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Wow. Very abstract in nature, and yet at the same time, it's giving us a chance to really see a unique design with the red, the black, and the white making its own statement. I am having a great time. Let's see if we can just push that on over. Some of that over. See what happens with that side. And back to the metal. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, we're going to set that down and bring that to rest and see what we can do to bring you in for a close-up because I think playing with it even more gave me an opportunity to really um, get some details and effects that weren't there before that allow for everything to really stand out with negative space in there. That's what I'm really liking, how it just allows for that to be highlighted because of the negative space. And so, anyway, we'll bring you in for a close-up and check out everything and make sure that we have um, coverage all the way around and all that good stuff. So, hold on for a close-up. All right, everyone, we're here with our close-up of this 10 by 20 inch abstract design using a split cup and special effects have been developed as a result. I want to show you this with the flash on. All lights are off so you could get a close-up of these beautiful striations and the rich color of both the red, the white, and the black together. making for an awesome effect in terms of an abstract design. Look at this, beautiful. These striations are very, very clear. You can see that it separates with a streak of white coming through the black, allowing for it to have negative space, allowing for a separation of colors, and giving this a unique abstract design. Look at the striations all the way here on the edge. And we have a split there with the white coming through. And then we have more white here and coming into this 
lower right edge and moving right on over to the middle again you can see those beautiful rich striations in the center there that is a fabulous design abstract design with beautiful red black and white and I guess I could call this like I said um, black and white and red all over how's that all right let me know what you think in the comments I so appreciate your feedback join me on my Facebook group Anita White Art and we will see you all on the very next video upload bye now